Persia. Now they're inspecting the dyed wool set out to dry in the sun. And that's a bridge over a dry stream of some sort. And there they're out in the... Well, these young ladies, if they are young, it's pretty difficult to tell, but they're spinning the wool for the making of rugs. Most everybody in the area seems to be involved one way or another in the production of rugs. Now there's a little joker in the center there that they seem to have a lot of dealings with. He seems to be quite an important man when it comes to the purchase of rugs. Uh, they're closing the deal now and there he is. That seems to be the fashion in which they seal their deals. Now here they are actually weaving rugs and that apparently is the pattern set up before them. You can see the little guy in there. There he is. Now here there's a different group that's doing a little spinning. You can see the wool that they have in the hand and they spin it into threads. Wrap it around the weight that's spinning. And this is apparently how they live. Seems to be a porch of one of the homes. And oh, there's the little guy again. a group of, I suspect they're porters, and here they are on the camels. That's Mr. Hensky off to the left and Mr. Bigelow coming up center. Why they have such elaborate covering or saddles for the camels, I don't know. Maybe they're just billboards or advertising for the rugs. Now this, I think, is how not to get off a camel. Looks like it gives the kidneys a pretty good jolt at any rate. Well, he made it. Now they're setting up a scale to weigh the bales of rugs. Just how they purchased them, whether it was by weight or by individual rug or by design, I don't know. But you can make out the uh, Marshall Field and Company insignia on the bales. I suspect that the weights were not too accurate, but uh, they seem to be satisfied with them. Now there you can see the rugs piled up in bales, and that looks like Rusty Trent there. How he got there, I don't know. And that is, whether he's selling wine or just uh, peddling water, it's hard to determine. I suspect that there is a shortage of water there, so that may be what his commodity is.
could very well be wine. Now here, apparently he's changing some coins for some smaller coins so that he, ah, there they come, the leeches. There, you see, he threw them the coins and ah, more and more. And this is some sort of bread. I'm, I'm certain it's unleavened. I don't think they put it to rise anywhere before they baked it. Looks like they just painted it on a slab and then peeled it off. But apparently it's edible. They're eating it. And that is a, one of the cars that they used at certain areas where they were able to, in many instances, they had no cars available. And this, I think, is the courtyard. Well, we jumped, jumped around again. Now we're back at the Taj Mahal for a quick visit. Of course, there's the gardens, and that's Mr. Hensky coming towards the camera. Now this, I believe, is the Straits of the Bosporus, and that's Constantinople. Now, in the distance, somewhere along here, is St. Sophia's. Now maybe it's in a different different scene. Don't see it anywhere here. Well, we're back with the camels again. Now there, that appears to be...